everybody, welcome to Rock and Pop Mandolin, RPM, your site for learning classic rock and pop songs on this lovely little eight-stringed instrument. My name is Mike DeJong, and today we're going back to the early 70s in that Texas trio ZZ Top, one of their early hits called LaGrange. It's a great song from their 1973 album Tres Hombres, and I think that was their third album. It's one of their biggest hits, and it's a really grooving song. And it's a lot of fun to play on the mandolin. A little tricky if you want to try to uh, mimic that solo by Billy Gibbons. I've done my, my best on it. Of course, it's not the same as uh, Billy's solo on the guitar. But we can do something with it on the mandolin here. And I'll show you, uh, well, I'll give you some ideas on soloing over the track as well. But first, before we get into that, a little bit of business. If you're new here, thanks very much for joining us here at RPM. But don't forget, hit that little red subscriber button on the way out. It really helps us to continue to grow on this channel. If you are a returning subscriber, thanks very much once again for coming back. But you can help the channel a little bit by checking out the links down below. Uh, we've got a few links there that you might be interested in in helping the channel and helping yourself as a mandolin player. Number one, there's a link to my new lesson series, Learn Rock and Pop Mandolin. 16 video lessons, including tabs and everything, take you right from beginner to intermediate player for $29.99. The link is down below. Also down below, some links to my affiliates like Sweetwater and Amazon and to the Johansson Mandolin if you want to purchase one of these fine instruments. Finally, also down below is a link to our Patreon page, Rock and Pop Mandolin on Patreon. Over there, you can get, well, you can get access to mandolin tabs, such as the tab for this song, and many, many other tunes that you cannot find on the internet. Mandolin tabs exclusive, in many cases, to my Patreon channel. So the link is down below, and it's very inexpensive, and you can access all the tabs over there, which will really enhance your playing. That's enough business, though. Let's take a look at this track by ZZ Top called LaGrange for Mandolin here on RPM. Okay, LaGrange is in the key of A, and it starts off with this really grooving little lick. What is that? Well, it starts with an A chord here, and I'm just calling this an A power chord, all right? So I've got my finger holding down, my first finger holding down two frets here, the second fret of the G and the second fret of the D, okay? I'm just holding that down. I'm trying not to hit those other two strings down there, all right? And from there, you're just moving that, that pattern up just like that, okay? So you're, you're moving that pattern from the second fret now to the fifth fret here on, again, those two strings, the G and the D, and then the seventh fret on the G and the D, all right? So like this. So just two beats on there and then back to the A chord again. Now, this rhythm on this A chord is really cool. It's, it's almost like you're hitting it on the up stroke. If you're going down and then up, you're going like that. And, and really feeling that groove. It's a really cool sort of um, rock and roll, early rock and roll groove here. So just like that. So the picking pattern is... So the first part is down it, and then, then you're catching the strings on the way back up. So you see that? And then going. Now, there's a couple of different uh, versions or variations of this lick throughout the song that you have to listen closely for. And in fact, it doesn't really matter what order you put them in because they're all similar on this sort of A minor pattern here. Okay, so the first one is this one. Now, Billy Gibbons uses that at the beginning of the song. So here he's going from that fifth fret right down to the two fret again, right? He's, so it's C to A. So watch closely. And then like that, okay? So he does that a couple of times off the beginning of the song, but once the heavy guitar part comes in with the drums and the bass and the vocals, he just goes right back to the A like this. See, that time I didn't do the, I just went right back to the, 
A. That's the part that he does all through the singing, the vocals in this song, all right? So one more time. Okay, so the first two times there, as you saw, I went from that C note there, that fifth fret, back down to the A. And then the third time through, I just went straight back to the A as Billy Gibbons does during the vocals of this song. Okay, so that's the uh, intro pattern. That's the first pattern. Now, later in the song for the first guitar solo, he modulates that same pattern up to C. And it's now here at the fifth fret, like this. See? Okay, so what's that? Well, again, it's just these two strings that I'm worried about here. So the fifth fret of your G and the fifth fret of your D, and that makes sort of a C power chord here, a C5, you might call it, right? Then I slide up from the fifth to the eight and the 10. Same thing, just those two strings like that, okay? So eight, same rhythmic pattern too as the beginning. So now an eight, 10, five, back to, back to five again. So eight, 10, five, like that, okay? And that's the C pattern that is played during his first guitar solo. So here. And again, I'm catching that strum, I'm going, catching it on the upbeat, on the upstroke, like that. You see that? Just like that. All right, there's one other cool little pattern in this song, a really nice sort of traditional bluesy turnaround. It goes... Okay, so what's that? Well, this one, you slide up to the fifth fret of your D string. All right, D5, and then on the E5 as well. And you're just sort of toggling between those two strings. So, and you wanna slide into it if you can, so. All right, so I'm using my second finger and third finger and just, just like that, up. I'm using, well, I'm using down strokes here, but you don't have to, you can do up and down strokes if you like, like that, all right? Okay, so from there, I'm just doing this little walk down pattern on the D string, all right? So it's from here to here to here, all the while I'm keeping that A note there, fifth fret of the E string, I'm keeping that sort of as a pedal tone here, so. See, all right, and I'm just using different fingers on the D string, so I'm starting there with my second finger, then I'm bringing in the pointer finger and I'm keeping that one locked down. Just keep that one in place on the E string. So here we go again. Okay, so I'm sliding from the fifth to the fourth fret to the third fret. All right, so. And then he does a cool little like that. That's a really tricky little riff. It comes, you start on the A, that second fret there, you go, I'll do it really slowly. Okay, so he's going, dun, dun. he's hammering on the five to the six, and then up to the second fret of your D string, like that. Okay, so that's tricky. Um, you might even want to try it with, if you want to use those fingers. I find I'm faster just with these two fingers here, so like this. You see? So one more time, that little bridge pattern, that little bluesy pattern. There, I use different fingers as well. Also, that time, I also, the first time through, I just, I finger picked it a bit here, like that, rather than picking it with the pick. Um, you can do that as well, you see? utilize, it's like Travis picking, using your your uh, second finger on your right hand to catch that high E string. But I'm, I'm gonna do it just with a pick here. And 
And there I use, I use those fingers this time, just like that. Okay, and that brings us to the guitar solo. Now, I'm not going to uh, duplicate Billy Gibbons' guitar solo exactly here on this video. Um, in fact, I can't because he does a lot of uh, string bending, which is really difficult and almost impossible on the mandolin. But I can do something similar. So it's over the... When he goes to the C pattern. This is the solo I want to show you over that C pattern. So um, coming out of the A pattern... There's like a drum part, right? One one bar of drums, and then he comes, right, like that. So you can do the, you can do something like that, which is very similar to what Billy's doing, except I'm not bending that first note. Okay, so I'm starting here, which is the tenth fret of the D string. It's a C note there, okay? So I'm starting on this C note here for four beats. One, two, three, four, and then, and then on the next bar, bar two, I'm doing just a, a series of pull-offs here. So I'm going like that. So like that, you see what I did there? So here, like that, okay? All the way down to that fifth fret C. So you're going from the high C to the low C. Basically what you're doing here is you're using the pentatonic blues scale here, right? You're using the, the, main, the minor pentatonic just to, like that. So I'll go slowly. So here, and then, so that's from 10, eight, five, and then eight, five, three, right? So. Like that. So 10, 8, 5, 8, 5, 3, and then 5, 3, 1, 3, 1, 5. One more time. And, you know, if this is too fast for you, um, there is a little uh, mechanism here on YouTube, that little gear button down there below, below the screen. If you want to slow down this video or slow down that part to review it, you can, using that little gear button, you can actually slow this down uh, quite a bit to try to get that lick. And in fact, that's what I did when I first learned this lick from the uh, actual Billy Gibbons solo. So here we go again. Okay, and then from there, I just kind of add lib. I kind of ad libbed on that, and you can do whatever you want using that blues scale, the C blues scale. Um, a good note to hit is that minor third there, which is your first fret of your D string. So that works really well on uh, coming off that C note here. It's a nice bluesy tone there. So I'm just going. Like that. So mess, I'm messing around with it. I'm not doing the same thing uh, twice. So it's, it's kind of hard for me to explain exactly what I did here. But if you utilize these notes here from the fifth to the third fret of your G. So G third, G fifth, and then one, three, five you can uh, come up with some interesting patterns on your own there, just using those notes, like... You know, you can just play around with them. And it's always nice to, to come up on that flatted third note there, right? That first fret. It's really cool. It's a really cool little bluesy idea. So one more time from the beginning of the solo. So there I went, I just went, so something like that, all right? So just utilize those notes, maybe slow down this video and you'll see exactly what I did there. Okay, the next part of the solo, he kind of goes up to this, this really cool uh, dominant seventh note right here. So he goes, right, so, so he slides up. So from the five, one, three, five, 
to the eighth fret there. And that's a really cool, you know, note that Billy Gibbons really hits a lot in this song. And he's going back between the fifth fret and the, and the uh, what's that, the, the eighth fret. And then you go back up to the, you can use all of those notes on the D string, all right? So one more time here. So let's slide up. Okay, so five, one, three, five, eight. And just keep going back and forth between the fifth fret. And then you can go. Okay, so that's 10, 8, 5, 3, 1. 10, 8, 5, 3, 1. And hit that flatted third again on the C chord. Okay, those are some ideas for you to uh, try to improvise over this song. I didn't uh, give you exactly the notes that I played because I play them differently every time. And uh, it doesn't really matter as long as you stick within that uh, C minor blues scale and maybe emphasize that note and this note. Those are two cool notes that Billy Gibbons loves to emphasize in all of his solos. So have fun with it and let me know how it goes. All right, that is LaGrange by ZZ Top for you. A really fun song to play, and it works out pretty well on the mandolin, and it gets your fingers going if you want to uh, start improvising and using those minor blues scales in the key of C, and later, uh, the end of the song in the key of A. Thanks very much for watching. If you're new here, don't forget to hit that little subscriber button. If you are a returning subscriber, please help out the channel by checking the links down below, and maybe come over to Patreon and get tab for this song and many others. My name is Mike DeJong. Thanks once again for watching RPN.